Hello, ladies, and welcome to another episode of Conventional Wisdom. Although, with this episode, I suppose I should be calling it Unconventional Wisdom. <sighs> Today, I am your host. I am Sanji, Blackfoot Sanji, of the Straw Hat Pirates, with a bounty of 77 million fairies. Please, please, no autographs. <laughs> Alright, the subject of today's video is actually not a convention. The event is called UnCon. Basically, you know, it was a small gathering of cosplayers and such at a local park. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, I can't do Sanji the whole time, so I'm just going to go back to Brad. Alright, but basically, like I said, Uncon was a gathering of cosplayers at a local park. Uh, you know, we're based in, I'm based in Northeast Ohio, so we have the Cleveland Metro Parks. Basically, you know, just nice little open area parks where people can gather for free, you know, walk around, hike, you know, jog, take their pets for walks or whatever. <clears throat> you know, basically just go out and enjoy nature. Uh, Uncon was an event established by one of my friends, Ethan, because basically another convention that you know he likes to likes to attend has unfortunately been moving westward, you know, over the years, and this year it got to the point where it he couldn't reach the convention or it wasn't worth the expense of traveling to get out to it or, or whatever. So he decided, along with a couple of his friends, hey, I'm going to organize this event at Squire's Castle, part of the Cleveland Metro Parks, you know, where people who can't go to Shinboku Con, you know, or whatever, can just gather for free, you know, hang out, socialize, have fun, you know, maybe get in some photo shoots. You know, it was an awesome idea. And I'm here to tell you now that it worked out quite well. I mean, I attended the event. Unfortunately, I did have work that afternoon, so I had to leave early. But the time that I spent there, and you know, from some of the stuff I heard from Ethan and a few of the other people afterwards, it was a wonderful idea. And I want to explain, you know, how that, how the event itself went, and you know, a few tips and ideas in case you want to organize your own cosplay gathering. You know, Ethan has expressed that. You know, if other people do this, he doesn't want them using the name Uncon, because, you know, it was his thing, so, you know, go with cosplay meetups or something else. You know, please, out of respect, you know, for my friend. <coughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Basically, Uncon, like I said, you know, at the Cleveland Metro Parks, the Squire's Castle, which is in Willoughby, Ohio. Uh, you know, we pretty much just met up at the, you know, first little pavilion area up there. Uh, you know, we brought some food, drinks, you know, people came in costumes, and, you know, it was mostly just hanging out and socializing. You know, nothing really big, but, you know, in the two hours that I was there, it was definitely worth the drive out. For me, it's about 40 minutes away from where I am, you know, so a little bit of a drive, but not that much, considering I usually drive about 20 to 30 minutes to get to work. So, you know, not bad. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's the basic premise of it. Now, luckily for us, you know, one of the other event organizers, Sky, actually brought some foam swords, kind of like in the game Dagger here. You know, uh, basically, you know, brought the swords, and we had some fun, you know, just running around, fighting, played a played a bit of Capture the Flag, and, you know, that was also interesting. <sighs> and, I mean, really, there's not much else to say about the event beyond that. I mean, you know, we got together, we hung out, we had fun, you know, people got pictures. You know, it was pretty cool. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm just going to cut straight to, like, a couple tips and tricks and also, you know, a thought or two that I had that I wanted to share in case you want to organize your own event. <clears throat> uh, basically, you know, first off, my thoughts, 
it's definitely a wonderful idea. You know, it gets people, you know, in the in roughly the same area to get together and you know have some fun outside of a convention. Because you know whether you've been to 20 conventions or you're planning to go to your first, it can be expensive. You know, organizing, getting a room, you know, the badge, you know, badge wristband, whatever. You know, it can stack up pretty quick. But with an event similar to Uncon, you know, it's oh hey, we're just meeting up here at the park and we're just hanging out, you know, having fun. <laughs> not that big a deal and also very cheap however because of that you know I would suggest you know having it like a potluck thing where oh hey you know people bring in you know a thing or two you know like they bring in chips drinks water would definitely be a highly suggested thing cause, because you know soda you drink it it gets into your blood and like you know, with the heat, I guess, it, I don't know, it just does bad stuff, so it's not as good at hydrating as, say, like, water. But, again, the idea still stands, you know, just have, you know, ask people, hey, can you bring a few, you know, a few bucks so we can get some, like, burgers, you know, some charcoal from, like, the local, you know, um, grocery store, and we can cook some cook some stuff up, or, you know, bring something, you know, to help feed some people. Like me, I brought in a big, like, 50 case of small bags of chips, because I work at Sam's Club, so, you know, it was convenient. <clears throat> but you can stop at a store and get those yourself also. You know, or you can get drinks or whatever. So, that's one of the first suggestions if you host your own event, you know. Ask the people to bring things, or ask them to bring a few bucks so everybody can make some food. Because, yeah, you know, you're hanging out, running around in the hot sun, it's gonna, <laughs> you're gonna get hungry. Or thirsty. That's my first tip. My second tip, you're gonna want to do it in, like, a time when the weather's supposed to be good. Unfortunately for Ohio, like, it seems, like, over the last couple of years, March, April has gotten pretty crap. So, if you're in Ohio, you might want to plan for an event, you know, maybe... Late April, May, June, July, August. I'd say up through, like, September, October-ish. You know, um, second thing, though, I would suggest is, like, you know, if you're playing this thing, like, a month or so out in, in advance, you know, have a backup date, because let's say, you know, you want to go on April 19th. But, you know, it's just snowstorms or rainstorms or, you know, just some crazy stuff happens. If you have a backup date, like, say, a week or so after, you know, then you're good. Because you have a second chance for, oh, hey, it's not a crappy day. So, if you're planning an event, establish a backup date and, you know, put it on a Facebook or something, something like that so people know. Which actually leads me to third... You know, um, advertise the event. You know, talk to your friends, talk to the local anime club, you know, at your high school, college, whatever, if the club exists, because in some clubs, in some places it doesn't, and that's fair. You know, uh, set up a Facebook. You know, if you're in Ohio, I've established the Ohio Cosplay Meetups group. I can put a link for it in the page below. We've got a large spread of people from Northeast Ohio down to Columbus and just all over Ohio. It's pretty crazy and pretty cool, actually. You know, but advertise it so people know about it, so it'll get people to come to it. You know, so that way you're not stuck with, like, four or five people who are just, like, you know, awkward and like, um, yeah, what do we do? Uh, let's see. Fourth? You know, have some, have some little things going on. You know, like, like I mentioned, Sky brought some swords so we could have some sword fighting and capture the flag. But, you know, be creative, you know, have, you know, plan out like, oh, hey, we're going to have a little hike, you know, or we're going to have photo shoots, or, um, you know, just other, like, little games, like maybe a scavenger hunt, you know, if people are interested, because, you know, yeah, coming and hanging out is good, but there are some people who want to come and hang out and do something also. So, you know, you don't have to do anything elaborate, but, you know, like I said, maybe a scavenger hunt. <clears throat> if you're creative, you know, you can make your own little versions of Dragon Balls and just hide them all over a certain area and be like, okay, you know, collect the Dragon Balls, bring them back, and you'll get, like, a prize or something. You know, maybe a bag of candy or something, I don't know. 
it's just a thought. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an idea to help bring people in. Now, on to one of the things I didn't necessarily like, and, you know, I talked about with some of my other buddies also, about Uncon specifically, but the fact that it was the weekend of another convention. You know, I get, hey, you know, we can't make it to the convention, we're kind of frustrated, so we're going to have our own little thing, but it seems kind of dickish to put an event the weekend of, you know, a convention. Because, let's see, this free thing that's only got a couple hours that's right next to me, or, you know, the event that I have to drive two hours to that's two days that I have to pay a bunch of money out to. It's kind of, eh? Uh, like, depending on your priorities, you might choose one way or the other. And I don't like the idea that we have to choose. My suggestion is, you know, set your event up maybe the week or, or so after the event. Now, I say this because, you know, it gives people who can't go to the convention, you know, an opportunity to do something relatively close to when the convention was. But also, you know, people can come from that convention and be like, oh, hey, you know, OhioCon, ColossalCon, you know, ShinbokuCon, this event was wonderful, it was great, the staff was good, they had good panels. You know, they can hype it up. You know, or, take it the other way, if things went poorly, you know, they can let them know. Which, you know, basically with that, you just have to go, okay, do I trust this person's opinion? <sighs> but, yeah, so, I mean, like I said, in my opinion, I would schedule it not the same weekend of another convention, because that's just kind of being a dick. Not gonna lie. Like, you know, I, I get why you did it, Ethan, and I can appreciate it, but in the future, I feel like you would be better off doing it not that we can have a convention. Just saying. Um, I can't really think of much else to say, really, you know, besides promote the event, have some events, you know, make it a potluck thing where people bring things, you know, do it relatively close to, like, you know, when a convention is so people can talk about the last convention. So, you know, you can find out, oh, hey, this convention's, you know, a lot of anime, a lot of video games, a lot of comics. So you can find out, oh, hey, next year I might want to go to this convention as well. You know, because one of the big things, you know, that's going to help anime and Japanese pop culture and everything else grow is if we can network with each other and let, let you know, our fellow otaku, otaku, God, I can't say the word, otaku, nerds or whatever about, you know, these great, these great or bad conventions, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, the idea of cosplay gatherings, I'm going to call them, you know, is great. It's a free thing. It's, you know, it can be just for a day. It can be, you know, a two-day thing. It can be whatever without, you know, having to do all this elaborate work. And, you know, hey, if you get enough of a fan base, maybe you can actually make an elaborate convention thing and set up an event somewhere in Willoughby or whatever. But yeah, that's just my two cents on Uncon and the idea of cosplay gatherings in general. That they're a good thing and they can do a lot of positive. You know, it's just the people who do the conventions, you know, they have to put in the work to make sure the event goes well. You know, and... I don't know. I just think overall it's a wonderful, fantastic idea. You just have to put in the work for it. You know, Ethan, Sky, you guys put in the work. Uncon was wonderful. I unfortunately went to another gathering thing that didn't go as well. There were only a couple of us, and, you know, we were... Like, we got to socialize and have fun, and it was good. But, yeah, like... I don't know. <laughs> it was a bit lacking in some regards, I'm just going to say, and leave it at that. So, anyway, guys, you know, as always, have fun, be safe, uh, be nerdy, and yeah, I'll catch you with another episode of un sorry, conventional wisdom. You know, and also, I will be doing a, cos a Sanji a cosplay enthusiast video soon, I swear. <laughs> Alright, anyway, guys, peace out, love y'all, and yeah, Brad... Uh, Valiant Bread, the cosplay enthusiast, is out.